and welcome to another Mechanical Weekend. So, I uh, showed you that I blew a tire on the bike there last time. So I can't do anything with that until the tire is back. So the front brakes are now working, which will be great once I can move again. In the interim, I'm uh, going to have to take the bus. In order to carry anything, I'm going to need my granny cart fixed. problem with it is these wheels are freaking tiny and it sits really low to the ground so there you can see it's kind of customized all on its own now but <clears throat> in order to alleviate that problem I got some new wheels these because I don't think they're gonna fit I got some new axle this. So the plan is we take these wheels off, we mount this axle onto this axle, and we put those wheels on that axle. That'll raise it up. Kind of make it from a granny cart into more of a mani cart. Because you know, this thing does sit pretty low. It's kind of hard bending over to bending over sideways to pull it without it hitting my ankles every two seconds. So raising it up a little will help that. Okay. I'll set you up, I'll get the wrenches out, and we'll start. All right, so we'll get these wheels off, and then we'll figure out how to attach this to it. Could use the right size wrenches and sockets, but I'm not saving these, uh, these particular knots or anything, so. It don't matter in particular. Although I think these might be useful in case I need to replace the wheels on uh, Katie's training wheels again. Step one. Now, I have to cut that plate off, I think, but find a way to mount this there. And as I don't have a welder, that is going to be a little more difficult than I like. I think. Huh, who am I kidding? I don't think. But uh, I believe I could take... Push this back and I'll try to show you the idea. I believe I could take some little scrap brackets here I have and do a wrap around both bars, crimp tight to keep it from moving too much, and maybe something vertical to tie this little plate here into this rise here. One around there, maybe. That might do it. Hmm. Well, I'll let you know as soon as the work's getting started. First thing I think I'm going to have to take that plate off, though. Get it at the angle grinder, I'll bring it outside, and I'll chop it off. Now, as much as I know, you like seeing all the sparks and flashes and noise from the angle grinder. <clears throat> yeah. It's a bit of a pain to set it up to show you all that, so I'm not going to bother. I went out, cut everything off. I gotta break this chunk off here, but uh, yeah. Now it'll sit a lot easier against that axle. I chop the bottom ends of this off so it'll sit even flatter. Maybe. Let's see. 
that's garbage. This is a little warm, but uh, let's see if we can get it apart the rest of the way. That last little chunk I don't want to get off of there. Uh, need a convincer. Or at least a little bit. Yeah, I made enough. Uh, made enough space I can fit a wedge in there anyway. Uh, I'll see if I can bend that off the rest of the way, and I'll bring it back to you. Yeah. Combination of uh, brute force, a vise, and a hammer, and that last chunk came off of there. It actually looks pretty good. Still rough, but it doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to work. Now, how are we going to bracket these together? I'm thinking wrap something around and crimp it, and a vertical around that to tie it all in. Sounds to me like that would work. Like a long vertical around that tied into this. And a couple of crimps in here to hold it. And I am going to take the bottom edge off of bottom of that round off there so they'll sit flush. So, I'll get the angle grinder back out, chop those off outside, and I'll bring it back in. Got those cut. That's pretty good. Can we get it flush? Yes, we can. Lines up nice. So, I'm going to find a bunch of little bits of metal to make brackets out of. Then on each side, we're going to put a wrap around here to hold it crimped, and a vertical wrap around here, which will wrap around here. So it'll go this way, and once it's that way, we'll wrap it this way to crimp it. So none of this is going to be like welded or bolted or anything, it's just going to be held together by pressure, which should work fine. Should be okay. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> 